M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with M6 LSJ and we're setting up this hotspot that has come preloaded with PyStar. Okay, so there's a tip that Lionel has, has told me about where you can, rather than add your WPA supplicant where you have to take out the SD card and add your username and password, we can just connect to the hotspot straight to the hotspot using the Pi Stars or presets and then we can configure our Wi-Fi. So Lionel has told me the first thing you do is obviously turn the device on. So what we do is hit the Wi-Fi as normal and instead of connecting to the internet like we are now, we connect to Pi Star. You'll see it shows up here and it actually does say Pi Star. Let me just move my photograph out of the way a minute. And you'll see that it says Pi Star. Okay, we're going to connect that to that, click it and then Pi Star. And then we're going to use that you will lose your internet, but we're going to use um, the uh, the IP address that they give us, which is 192.168.0.50. So um, hit your Wi-Fi, select Pi Star like so, type in Raspberry, that's R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y, okay, and click Next, and then it will connect. Effectively, it's an invisible connection to your hotspot. So Lionel says that what we now do is scroll down to the, no, go to Configuration, put in the words Pi Dash Star and Raspberry to log into Configuration, Raspberry, uh, Raspberry, sign in, and now we can scroll to the bottom and we can now add our Wi Fi. See, it says configure Wi Fi here at the bottom. So, this saves you, I'll repeat this again, it saves you having to remove the SD card from your hotspot. We'll go to configure and now we can start adding in our username and password. So, whilst I do this, I will pause the video because I don't want you to see my username and password. But once you put it in, you just click save and connect and then it will connect to the hotspot and you get your internet back. Yeah. Uh, and then you can carry on configuring. Okay. We hit save and connect. We're going to wait for it to reboot and connect via Wi-Fi. Right. So now go to a program called advanced IP scanner. And once you run that, it looks like this window here and you'll, it'll scan and look for an IP address called PyStar. And you'll see here in my list, you just press play and it scans. And look, one of them's called Pi Star. And then you've got 192.168 on my computer, 0 0.116. So if I put that into my browser, yeah. so what we're going to do, we haven't quite connected yet. We're going to go configure Wi Fi again. And this time we're going to actually do a scan because for some reason it didn't actually connect that time. So we're going to do scan. It takes 10 seconds. And then we're going to select what it finds in the scan. Okay, so it has found it. So what I'm going to do is select the one it found. Uh, and then I'm going to try the password again. And hopefully it will connect this time. So then we hit save and connect. I'll also hit apply changes. Okay, that's worked. It's found it in the advanced IP scan. You can just see it there listed as 114. That's cool. And then now you can just go back into PyStar. And, uh, and if, if this doesn't work for you, just load up, just use W Wi-Fi Builder to load up the, your credentials yourself. So let's just quickly show you how to configure the frequency. To log in, you go, when you click configure, you go, you put in Pi Star and a Raspberry. So we're going to turn on DMR. You could select D-Star and Fusion. We'll leave this OLED here and DevT and all that. And it looks to me like this Pi star needs to be updated to be honest, but two, three, four, one, four, it will do it. You'll be able to do it later. Get your call sign in, M0FXB. Choose your server. So I'm using, when we do apply changes, you'll get the option to select DMR. So just applying there and you have to wait while it reboots. So that's rebooted nicely. Uh, DMR, we can now put the frequency in of my radio which is 431.550 and my hotspot same frequency and um, we're going to choose brandmeister we're going to need to put in our our password you know brandmeister password and we'll probably update this as well let's just click apply and i'll show you how to update everything so we're going to go apply changes 
So we've got the right frequency because not even it's not even asking me for a password at the moment, but it will. And you'll also see here if we scroll to the bottom that it's actually showing connected to my Wi-Fi now, which is nice and handy. When it reboots, it looks like this, and of course we have a live dashboard with all our contacts that we're making as well with our radio. Um, so just scrolling down, it should ask for my password in Brownmeister. It doesn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to update everything now. Now remember, you can actually update the firmware on your MMDVM hat, but we'll do that in a separate video. But for now, we're just going to update the PyStar system. So we're going to click update and it will do it all for you automatically. The screen goes black. Don't, uh, don't let it worry you. Just be patient while it updates everything. So yeah, I did upgrade and look, it actually got this big alert saying that I'm running an outdated version of PyStar. Please upgrade. So we're going to have to hit the upgrade button. Now Lionel says go to expert and then this time go upgrade. So we need to do that first and then update the software of PyStar. So it's doing it now. You can see all the commands are on screen. Very techy. So give that a go as well. So now I've pressed update and now it's doing it. Look, I did configuration, then update, expert, then update. And look, you can see now it's going to bring it up because you can tell what your PyStar version is because it says it at the top here, PyStar 3.4.17. And we want a newer version now. And you can see all this information here. Uh, updating firewall, done services. Updates complete, sleeping for a while, it says, and then it will reboot. And let's see if the number changes at the top. Just here. You might have to reboot. So okay, well we'll leave it at that for now. Yeah. Um yeah, okay. and um thanks for th big thanks to yeah. M6LSJ. Uh seven free, all the best. Bye for now.